Instead, the Carter administration emphasized ballistic missiles and authorized the development of what would eventually become the Northrop Grumman B-2, a spirit stealth bomber. However, the development of the stealth bomber was not made public and would remain classified for years to come. President Ronald Reagan resurrected the supersonic bomber as the B-1B. Instead of penetrating at high altitude, the new B-1B would be optimized for low-altitude penetration using a combination of speed, terrain masking and reduced radar cross-section. However, the trade-off was that the B-1B sacrificed high-altitude, high-speed performance as a result. While the B-1A had a top speed of over Mach 2.0, but the B-1B can barely manage Mach 1.25 as a result of its many structural changes and fixed geometry inlets. After the end of the Cold War, the B-1B was denuclearized and refocused on the conventional role with all of the jet's nuclear hardware being removed in 1995. In place of the nuclear capability, the bomber was given a new conventional role starting with conventional mission upgrade program. As part of the effort, the bomber was fitted with enhanced synthetic aperture radar capability and the ability to carry precision guided munitions. In the intervening years since September 11, 2001, the bomber has been upgraded with new sensors like the Sniper XR targeting pod and data links to better enable to jet to perform missions for America's counterinsurgency wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. The B-1B is no longer able to fight inside heavily defended airspace, but the aircraft will still have a role in the high-end fight as a standoff cruise missile carrier using weapons like the Jasser and the Razum. Ironically, that means that during a high-end fight it will have a role similar to the Russian Tu-160. The Tu-160 while it looks similar to the B-1B is a very different aircraft. The Soviet Union designed the Black Jack primarily as a means to deliver a nuclear strike during World War III. However, the Soviets designed the jet mainly as a means to deliver nuclear-tipped cruise missiles though the aircraft retained the ability to do low-level penetration. As such, the Tu-160 is much larger and much faster than the B-1B with a maximum takeoff weight of over 606,000 pounds and top speed greater than Mach 2.05. By contrast, the B-1B weighs in at 477,000 pounds. The Tu-160's primary armament has always been long-range cruise missiles like the KH-55 MERS of which it can carry a dozen. In recent months however, the Russians have used the conventional version KH-555 version of the cruise missile against targets in Syria alongside much more advanced and stealthy KH.